going, everybody? This is John from Washed Up Media. Chilling here with our friends in Reflections tonight. What We've worked together before, but we're just going to go down the line and introduce everybody, starting with Jake. My name is Jake. I'm the vocalist for Reflections. Uh, my name is Francis, and I play bass. I'm Nick, and I play drums. I'm Patty, and I play guitar. So we're in deep over here, Amityville, New York. You guys are on tour right now with Tooth Grinder. How is that going for you? Uh, it's really cool. Uh, Tooth Grinder is actually a band that opened up for us a long time ago on a Within the Ruins tour package. So it's really cool to like see just how far they've come. And uh, they're all really cool dudes. Everyone on the tour is super cool, honestly. The guys in Youth and uh, Morta Monroe was later added to the bill. But they're also very awesome. So whole package is awesome. It's definitely a heavy, uh, heavy fucking bill. We've had some sick uh, local bands even going on. You guys might have heard of Iridian. Definitely check them out also. Uh, so this tour, you guys are dropping a record next week, right? The yeah. Color Clear? Yep. Tell uh, me about it. Color Clear is uh, kind of a, in our like combined opinion, kind of a, a new beginning for us as a band. Um, it's music that we've always kind of wanted to create and the, you know, the kind of in a way like atmospheric, almost like at times ambient metal, you know what I mean? Um, and, uh, you know, it, it feels really good for us. It's, it's like almost like a diary in music. So. I mean, I for one am very excited. You guys have always had that just like shrilly creepy undertone of a background to your music. So yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to hearing that like more manifest. It's it definitely shows itself a lot more awesome. in our new record. Uh, are you guys playing any tracks off the new record? I know you dropped some singles. Are you rocking that out tonight for us or what? Tonight is primarily new music for us. Awesome, excellent. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we wanted to say. <laughs> Uh, we could talk about gear a little bit. Absolutely. I know you guys are part of Team Legator. I use a microphone, uh, so... Patty, you want to add anything to that? Um, yeah, I uh, strictly use uh, Legator guitars on stage. And they've been really like good to me as far as like providing me with like the tools I need to like craft our music and like perform and everything. And like it really, they really hold up well and like stay in tune and everything, play really well, and. I don't know. I can I can go on and on about like how good Legature is, but Le it's Legature. I yeah, I keep it's saying le like yeah, like no, Legator or, or, or Legator. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just to clarify for everyone. So you guys tour hard and they hold up for you. You keeping your tuning yeah. in, in shape and everything. No, they've been really like good to me. Awesome. And uh, I also use Lace pickups, and very um, well known. Those pickups, I well, uh, I use the Death Bar X Bar combo in my signature guitar, and they just have like. A lot of clarity, like no matter how low of a tuning I'm in or like what I'm playing, like I can hear everything, you know, it's really awesome. And uh, yeah. You rocking original Floyds on your guitars or what? Uh, yep, original Floyds. So Francis, uh, what's your weapon of choice for this for this tour here? <laughs> My weapon of choice is uh, I've been SBTB 675, I've been using that. <laughs> For like three years now. Um, big fan of Ibanez. Uh, it's 35 inch scale length. Handles the drop F tuning very well. Um, I gotta put like really thick strings. Uh, you have the yeah. twin truss rods on that? I believe so. The five piece sure. maple neck yeah. with fucking like Wenge it's a neck runners. Through and um, that's great. Tone's great. Barley need pick up. Yeah. Can't go wrong, bro. Yeah. Not much of a gear dude, but. Love Nick, do you want to get into a little bit of drum gear? <laughs> I'm the least gear-oriented person you could ever meet. Totally cool. This band, really, honestly. I, <laughs> I use his drum kit because <laughs> I, li I live in Syracuse, New York, and they're from Minnesota, so I can't, I can't really bring my kit with me. But the things I use consistently, Big First 3A sticks, Tama um, Speed Cobra pedal, Tama, yeah, Tama Black Brass. How have you guys been doing? I know you have to have like pre-orders up. You know that process has already ensued. Next Friday's your release. You guys been getting good crowd response. Good. Uh, give me, give me a little insight on that whole process. Uh, the tour itself has actually been a lot, 
like the response from the people that are there has been a lot um a lot better than we thought it was going to be just because it's like we start off with new music and kind of like consistently just keep playing new music well, so you're opening the set with a new track yes spoiler alert <laughs> yeah no I, I mean it's great pre-orders are you know a lot of a couple of the bundles have sold out and restocked and sold out again that's so fucking that's, amazing Congrats. it's really cool yeah it's very cool to see we put a lot of time and thought into like every aspect of the album that we could as far as you know visually musically lyrically so and you guys have put the touring in like for sure we yeah the exist cycle was a very busy hectic stressful anxiety filled year for us but that's what you got to do. If you're a band in the modern age and you want to make it, I mean, you know the the amount of blood and sweat you right. have to put into it, and you guys accomplish it. I mean, it's not over yet. No, no. <laughs> but you, you keep hustling. Oh, we will. I mean, because now it's it's a lot different now because we're touring on a record that actually really means something to all of us, I feel. So that makes that makes playing the shows, it makes the driving, it makes the you know all the work that goes into it just feel like it's going towards something as opposed to just kind of like sometimes in the past it would be like just mindlessly doing some of the same things over and over again and you know you'd be like depressed the whole time but I feel it I want yeah. to take a little sidetrack if you guys don't mind after you have a tour like this one going on I want an answer from each of you guys individually what's like the first most important or favorite thing that you do once you're home from tour and don't Bad. say shower other bed. than shower go go back to my bed and fall into it and wrap myself up in the blankets and turn all the lights off and sit in complete darkness for like 12 hours. This is a real ass question. Like, <laughs> for real. Honestly, TMI as fuck, I just like to sit on my toilet for like half an hour. Straight up, like being able to be in the comfort of your own home, your own bathroom, and just you don't, you don't get that. You don't you, you don't get that on tour, like no. at all. You get the Walmart bathroom. You no, know, you sit at someone's house, you don't get that. You know, this is weird. Like this is bathroom like a palace. Does he have this like? Yeah, there you go. That's what you're it just is. high on wine. Then you hop in the shower. You take a nice hot shower, and then I go to bed. That's what I do. Hi. I since at the end of tour I have to fly home. Right when I get off the plane, drive home, I get super hyped, and I text all my homies, go outside. I literally yelled at everyone. I'm like, I'm home, I'm home. <laughs> I get pumped because I'm with everyone. Go golfing the next day. Nice. And then you like eat. to swing and chip? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Golf is one of the greatest games on the planet. <laughs> Sick. Anytime we're on tour, we pass a golf course, I'm, my eyes are right there. I like to get in bed and... Uh, put on anime and just catch up on all my favorite animes that I, I can't watch on tour, you know? What are you catching up on currently, or will be when you get home? Uh, Food Wars. Sick tits. Hell yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Thank you, thank you guys for the insight. That's stuff we would like to hear. It's awesome. it's pretty covered. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. I mean, Sick. as always, Washed Up loves working with you guys. Hell yeah. We look fully forward to it in the future, doing it again and again. Hell yeah. Uh, we're definitely going to catch Washed some live up. footage of these guys. We're trying to cop, you know, four or five camera angles. We'll splice you up. We're, Sick. Not we. Sean will splice you up a nice fucking video and sync it up with your tunes. Dope. As always, I uh, just love to represent. And, you know, what we do, we like to come out, and it's really about community. We want, we want to get the word out. We want bands that... Are doing what they do, what they're doing, because they love what they're doing. To be able to have a platform to express themselves and just really spout spreading the love. Hell yeah! And you guys Agreed. all hustle, you work hard, and you do what you do because you love it. And we respect the fuck out of you guys because of that. Love you guys. Washed up. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Catch up with us next time. Uh. <laughs>